Um, if you can see, the shape of the instrument is rather slim yes. here, mm -hmm. because normally this size viola would have would have been a little bit sort of more round here, mm, broader shoulders. Yes, broader, oh. and therefore it would be more difficult to play upstairs. Yes, yes. Because then you know we would have. I see. We would have larger, and it would be yes. just very. But actually, because it's so narrow, it's actually very easy to play. Yeah, yeah. In that so sense, it's very violinistic. Well, in a way, yeah. yeah. And also, the neck of this instrument is rather thin, and yes. and it makes everything much easier because yes. because uh, you, normally it would be a little bit again broader mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's like a sports car, isn't it? It's it is. It's lighter, yes, it's a very good comparison. I like I like that comparison. Mm. You can have it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes. It, has, it has a name, this, this viola. Uh -huh. It's called the soldier. The soldier? El soldato. El soldato, okay. Yeah. And wh wh when is it from? It's 1780. Oh, yes. um, and I believe only six of those were made.